What is going on ladies and gentlemen welcome to your 47th HTML5 tutorial and in this lesson I'm going to be teaching you guys how to take that web application you made and turn it into more of a desktop application and we want to do this because there are a couple things that differentiated this dumb old drag and drop program from something a user would expect on their desktop first of all whenever you're dragging files and icons around on your desktop whenever you move the original image somewhere else or inside a different folder the original image disappears the user probably isn't expecting that image to stay there so it may confuse them a little bit so I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to make this original image disappear whenever you move it and also whenever you're dragging something on your desktop or in a software application whenever you drag it into an area that you're able to drop it in there's a little indicator to let the user know that it's okay to drop here and this may be changing the border color or changing the background color and it just helps clarify to the user okay it's okay to drop these files or these icons here so that's what we're going to be doing in this upcoming tutorial so what we need to do first is we need to work on the functionality of getting this image to disappear. Now we want this image to disappear whenever the user is done dragging it. So instead of start drag, we need to end or excuse me, we need to add an additional event listener for drag end. Now, let's go ahead and call this function end drag, and this end drag function is going to be called whenever they are done dragging the image and all this function is going to do is it's going to make this image disappear so that's all that's going to do so now what we need to do is after that we want a little indicator to pop up saying whenever we hover over this area this left box we're going to have the border change color and maybe the background too so let me go ahead and add two other event listeners so let's go ahead and copy this event listener for the left box and paste two other ones and I know my screen kind of went wild there, but these are the two ones that I just pasted right here. So instead of drag over, drag over, drag over, change this first one to drag enter and change this second one to drag leave. If I can move my mouse out of there, drag leave. So basically, whenever we enter the area of the left box, we want it to change a color. And whenever we leave the area, we don't want it to stay that color. We want it to change back to the original color, blue border with a white background. So we need to explicitly say that. So instead of just putting that function prevent default in there, we're going to be making our own custom functions. Now let's just go ahead and name it the same as this. We'll name our function drag enter and drag leave to you know not confuse you guys at all so first thing I want to take care of is making this icon disappear whenever we are done dragging it so let's go ahead and code that function let's see what was it called end drag so let me type function correctly I think I spelled function incorrectly in every single dang tutorial but anyways this end drag just like start drag right here it takes a parameter of E which is the dragging event now what we need to do is basically say okay when you are done dragging this image make it disappear so of course we need a reference to that image and we do that in a really easy way what we do is we get pick we just make a variable called pick you can actually make it anything you want and you set it equal to the events target now the target of the event is basically well let me say this the event is the event of dragging the image and what are we dragging the image so the image is the target the target is what are you doing the event to in this case we're doing it to the image so that's why I named it pick so now this pick variable references this thing right here so now whenever we end the drag we just want to go ahead and take that pick change the style what style visibility I always spell that one wrong too hopefully I got it right this time we want to change the visibility of that picture to hidden so there you go and this is just a CSS style basically we're taking this and hiding it through CSS so now whenever we are done dragging this it's going to go ahead and hide this icon right here so now that we took care of that we have two other things to take care of drag enter and drag leave so let me go ahead and do that right now so under end drag let's go ahead and build another function and I'm just gonna go ahead and copy this 
drag enter. And of course, this takes the parameter of E because anytime you're working with an event, you have to pass it in that event. So the first thing we want to do is we want to prevent any default action from happening. So whenever we enter this area, whatever you're going to do by default, prevent it. Now after this, remember I told you guys, whenever they drag this image over here, I want them to, I want the border color to change and I want the background to change. So how do we access those properties? Through left box, remember we already referenced this up here, left box style and the background is background just like that and let's just go ahead and set this equal to sky blue that's a nice easy color and let me go ahead and copy this so basically what we have going on right now is whenever we enter the left area the background is going to change to a sky blue color and let's just make the border border what was it by default three pixels solid blue so we will change this to something like three pixels solid red so the border is going to be the same size it's just going to change from blue to red and the background is going to be blue so now what we want to do is say okay that's what happens whenever we enter the area but what if the user does this what if the user enters the area then change its mind and drag back out well as of now the image or excuse me the left box would still change the same color it wouldn't change back to normal with a blue border so we need to say okay if the user changes his mind and it leaves the area we need to change it back and we need to do that through the drag leave function this basically means whenever you're dragging something and you leave the area of the left box so let me go ahead and just go ahead and copy this and now instead of drag enter we can just do drag leave because that's what we named our function right up here and by the way I'm gonna be taking all this code and I'm gonna be posting it on my forum so if I'm scrolling up and down too fast or you know just bugging you guys then uh, you can just go ahead and copy it through my forum but anyways what this is gonna do is basically change it back to its default properties so by default it had a white background so let's go ahead and change this to white and by default it had a three pixel solid blue border so three pixels solid blue instead of red so now let's go ahead and save this and look at everything we got go ahead and refresh it and first whenever I drag this and enter the area you notice that it turns into a red border from a blue one and the background turns sky blue instead of white now when I exit the area my the left box changes back to its blue border and it also has that white background which it had before so now if I finally say okay should I drop it oh uh, uh, uh. should I uh, should I do it I don't know I don't know okay I finally gonna drop it check it out my original image disappears and that is what the user would expect they don't expect to be making a whole bunch of copies of my face they expect to move my face from here to here so there you go that's what happens whenever you have a real sweet drag and drop program on your web page again there's a million other things that you can do um i don't know there's like unlimited possibilities but now that you guys know how to change properties of your drag and drop program and how to access them through your css and javascript basically the rest is up to you guys i gave you guys the pieces it's up to you to put them all together so for now thank you guys for watching and don't forget I'm gonna be taking all this code from my HTML CSS and JavaScript file and I'm gonna be posting it all on my forum tnbforum.com so anyways thank you guys for watching like I said don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video